Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliantra and welcome back to another Create a Sim challenge. Today we are doing the Toddler to Adult Challenge Supernatural Edition. So I think I want to make her a fairy. I think that's my plan. Something supernatural because I've done this challenge a few times before, not that long ago either, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently this time. We're gonna use some supernatural custom content since it is October. Basically, in this challenge you take your toddler and you try to make them as cute as possible and then you age them up into a young adult and you see what you get and usually the sim looks kind of crazy because the genetics in the sims 4 are wild let me tell you and then you give your new sim a makeover and try to make them look good so that is the plan i have randomized this toddler as a toddler so i have no idea what the adult version currently looks like but we are going to change her. We'll be changing her features and everything about her. Should I do like a custom skin tone? I mean like a scary, <laughs> spooky skin tone. These are not custom. I am not doing like blue or green. That is crazy, but I could do one of these. What do I want? What do I want her to be? I want to do, let me show you guys. I really want to do, oh, I wonder if I can do it for toddlers. Well, that might just ruin my plan. Maybe you can't. Right, so I was gonna say, I wanna do elf ears or like fairy ears because I have a mod that lets you do them, but you can't do it with toddlers. That is very disappointing. Do I have them in accessories? I have these ones. <laughs> Oh my God, they're so big. What the heck are these? They're more like troll ears or something. I don't even have these for adults. Maybe they're like elf ears, but they're like really, really big because she's a baby and like, you know, babies have big heads or something. Maybe they have big ears and then when she grows up, they're not as big anymore. <laughs> How did I not remember you cannot do toddler ears? Well, we're gonna be using these ears. Oh my gosh. I still want her to be like cute though. Okay, we're not doing a weird skin tone. Let's go for like this one. And I definitely want a hair that covers up part of the ears because oh my goodness, they are not the prettiest. But I'm just gonna play around with her features, try to make her look really cute. I don't think I'm very good at this challenge, to be honest. I feel like my Sims always end up just looking all kinds of crazy. What is it about them? I feel like it's usually the eyes and then the nose, the mouth, I feel like it's pretty good quite often. Oh, let's do the eyes. So let's do like white eyes, like gray eyes or something. I was considering doing a boy today because I don't think I ever have, but I just really like doing girls better and I have a lot more CC for girls. But let me know if you guys want to see a boy version of this because I definitely could do that as well. You can change like such minor things about toddlers. It's actually quite annoying. I feel like that's why they all end up looking pretty similar. Okay, I need to change these eyebrows. I'm not a fan of those ones. I'm not sure what color hair I wanna do. Honestly, I don't think eyebrows are really that genetic. You can change them, you can shape them, you can color them when you're older. Let's do this nose. I'm gonna make the eyes a bit smaller as well because I just feel like otherwise she'll turn up with massive eyes as an adult. I think I have, yeah, I do have some skin overlays for toddlers, so might use some. I can use the same one for her when she is an adult. There we go, I gave her a highlight because I have the same one for adults. I mean, honestly, I think she looks really cute, but it's so hard to tell how they're gonna turn out. I wanna give her lashes, okay, good. Actually, do I have my contacts? I do. Oh, we could do something like this with the eyes. Not this, this is scary. I want her to be like a good elf, not like a bad one. Okay, I changed my mind. The purple eyes are so cool. We have to use these ones and they're a face paint, so they're not gonna be genetic when she grows up, but I'll be sure to give her the same eyes as an adult. I actually think I might wanna do a lighter skin tone. I just feel like that's a bit more in theme with like the fairy kind of creature that I'm imagining in my head. Let's look at the hair. So I could definitely do an unnatural hair color. I do have that for some of these hairs and not that many, but we could do a purple to match her eyes. I, I cannot get over these ears though. They're so freaking big. I'm not gonna have the same ears for adults, sadly. So her ears will look a bit different as an adult, but that's fine. I'll do something similar, but we'll see. Okay, this one, let's see. Very cute. Oh, 
this one though oh my goodness there's so many different purples okay how am i supposed to choose i do really like this hair though i think it's really cool not really sure how well it works with the ears but it is an option oh this one's kind of giving me like halloween vibes like adam's family vibes not really sure why we also have this one. These ears are just way, way too big to work with anything. You know what I'm thinking right now? Should we do green instead and make her like a forest fairy? I feel like green just works better with these ears. I can't explain it, but I think it does. So let's try this green and let's change the color of her eyes. I'm hoping this comes in green. It does. Not that creepy green, no. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna change the color of her eyebrows to a darker brown. Her nose is looking so small. Well, her features are so small. Maybe her head is just too big for her features, I mean. <laughs> okay, I think I'm happy with that. So let's just give her an outfit, something fairy-like, something green, and then we're gonna age her up into an adult and see <laughs> what she looks like. Honestly, I don't know about her features. I think she looks really, really cute as a toddler, but I always think that. And then they end up looking all kinds of weird when you age them up because honestly, genetics in this game are very, very interesting. I think it works better if you actually like in game have a baby and then they grow up. The genetics, you can somewhat see where they came from. They do have some problems like their chins like disappear. But when you do it in Criticism, I feel like it never ever turns out good. This dress though, is giving me the right kind of vibes. That is really, really pretty as well. This is such a stunning dress. This one is super cute too. Oh, is this one Halloween themed? Oh, okay, this one could be nice. This is so cute as well. Look at the butterflies. I think I'm gonna have to go for this dress though. I just need to pick the color. I just think it has like these layers here. Remind me of like a fairy's wings or something. So. I just think it's perfect. Let's do that. Let's give her some shoes. Okay, I think she's looking super cute and I am happy with this. What trait are we gonna give her? Let's do inquisitive. I think, oh my goodness, I have toddler poses in my game. I totally forgot. But I think this is good for, I don't know, the fairy theme that we've got going on. What is the most fairy name in here? Aurora? That could be cute. Let's just make her last name Fairy because <laughs> it's gonna be something weird otherwise. And I'm gonna take a couple of screenshots of her now and then we're gonna age her up and see how badly we did. Cause we all know I've done badly. Cause who are we kidding? This never turns out good. All right, so we've got our little fairy girl right here. Her name is Aurora. This is what she looks like. Let's turn her around. <laughs> and let's remember this hair color. So it's like a mossy green. They're not very dark. I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to find the exact same green, but it's fine. She's so cute. And now we're going to make her into a young adult. Are you guys ready? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Okay, three, two, one, go. She has a green hair. Interesting that she has green hair even though it's a custom color. All right, and oh, okay. Wait, she actually looks really cute. Um. Honestly, this might be the best thing we've ever gotten from this challenge. I did make her nose like extremely thin. Um, apparently between the eyes, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how realistic that kind of a nose is, but I'm not that bothered. Her side profile is not bad. She has really nice cheekbones. Like her bone structure is amazing. Her lips are pretty good. Her nose is good. Even her eyes, I made them so small and they're still this big for adults. I am going to be changing her eyebrows and shaping them because I think that's part of the process. I'm just not happy with those ones. Let's do something a little bit bushy, something like this. Maybe that's a bit too much, something like this. And yeah, I am going to give her a makeover now and try to make her look like the adult version of that little toddler Aurora that we've just seen. I am gonna speed it up and give you guys some music while I figure this out and then I'll show you guys the final result. All right, let's get started. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care 
I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling your heartbeat Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling your heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? to lose my mind i'm going crazy lately i've been feeling every day's the same so i'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that i'm not here cause i just wanna dance i just wanna dance don't you wanna party sitting in the crowd feeling your heartbeat everybody's carefree everybody's carefree don't you wanna party sitting in the crowd feeling your heartbeat don't you wanna party you wanna party? All right, I think this is the final Aurora as a young adult. Honestly, I feel like I did such a good job. I love her, I love her vibe. And her face honestly looks really, really good. Should we do green eyebrows? Ooh, that's kind of cool, yeah. All right, anyway, so this is what I've done. I've given her, I think like the same blush maybe, just very natural lips. And this is the hair that I've gone for. This is supposed to be like the EA green. So not sure how close it is to her original like toddler hair color, but close enough. I gave her this little face detail, these golden markings. And these are the ears that I've gone for. These are my current favorite elf and fairy ears that I've got. They're so cool, they're from The Sims Resource and I know they don't look exactly like the old ones, but her ears developed as she grew older, I guess. <laughs> I gave her a little nose ring and I did her makeup. Honestly, I think she looks really, really good. Like this Sim, I don't really see anything wrong with her and that often happens when you age up toddlers. And then this is her outfit. It's just like very comfortable, like forest themed clothing, nothing too crazy. I didn't wanna go for a dress. I feel like I've only been using dresses lately. So I went for a shirt and some pants, but they both have flowers. And yeah, I just feel like they go really, really well with the vibe. Okay, I've just realized I didn't give her any wings and I feel like now that she's an adult, she definitely would have grown wings by now. So I have these ones, which are super, super cool. And then I also have these ones which come in green. So should we give her some wings? I feel like that completes her transformation. So yeah, here is Aurora now. Let's give her the curator aspiration and we're going to make her 
um loves the outdoors she's definitely gonna be family oriented and good as well so yeah this is the final sim let me know in the comments down below how do you think i did and if you want to see this again but with a boy or some other theme because i honestly love doing this challenge it's so much fun seeing what kind of sim you get and the sims always end up looking so different from the sims you would just make from scratch as young adults so here she is give this video a thumbs up if you like her final look or if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you are new here i post new sims videos about three times a week let me know if there's any other cast challenges that i should do and if you want to download her i'll be putting her on the gallery i think under my username which is eliandra yt or under the hashtag eliandra i honestly think she's so pretty and this is my favorite outcome of this challenge that i've ever had so i definitely think it was a success and it deserves a thumbs up from you guys so yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one hope you're having a great day and bye